Alright, welcome back. Now in this video, I'm going to go through the worksheet that was given out on in Term 2, Week 2, 29th of March, 2023. Now if you're watching this um, for the first time, welcome to this video. I'm going through some math questions for my foundation students. Let's get started. Now which one of the following has the same value as 60,207? Now, so here there are various options. All I need to do is add them up to find out this. Now, of course, there should be some ways of doing this faster. So let's give a tip. For example, I see 207. 207 can be gotten in a few ways. For example, I look at these two numbers. This gives me 207. This is a possible answer. This gives me 270. So this must be wrong. So by looking at this, like a shortcut huh? I can ignore the two numbers in front adding these two will give me 270 so this is also wrong this is only 200 there's no 7 anywhere this is also wrong just by looking at that you can tell the answer is number 1 next one there are 9 roses 11 tulips and 4 daisies in a vase what fraction of the flowers in the vase are tulips so you're looking for a fraction of the flowers that are tulips over the total number of flowers there are 11 tulips and total 9 plus 11 is 20 20 plus 4 is 24 so the, the fraction of the flowers that are tulips is 11 divided by 24 this is the answer number 2 next one round this off to the nearest two decimal places now, two, so no matter what you do, you must always read the questions. Huh? Two decimal places is the second decimal place. So I check this one. This is more than 5. So I can add 1. So I'll get my 74.95. Always make sure you read the question before doing it. Because some of my students make mistakes in this. In the previous question, uh, on the test given on 27th of March, that question was to the nearest whole number. So they remembered this answer and they wrote down this as answer. That's not the answer for this question. Okay, so you always need to make sure you read the question. Now, in this question, I suppose arrange the fraction from the greater to the smallest. Now, to make the comparison, let's change all the denominator to the same first. This is 20, this is 10, this is 5. Let's change this to 20. If we change it to 20, 10 times 2, 20, 7 times 2 is 14. This one, I change to 20, I times 4, times 4, I get 20, I get 8. Now I compare. Greater will be the largest number. This is the largest number. So I write 7, 10. So remember, I don't write 14 divided by 20 because that is not the originally given fraction. Smallest will be 3, 20. So this is your 8. Oh, I don't write this. Okay, I write my 2 fifth. So that's the answer for question 4a. Arrange these fractions from greatest to smallest. Now this, I have given you the denominator. So it's easier for the compare. Greatest with the largest number. This one is your 4, 17. Smallest is your 2, 17. This is in the middle. Next one. Five muffins cost two dollars. Shazana paid fourteen dollars. So if she pay two dollars, she will get five muffins. That's what the first sentence is about. Since she paid fourteen dollars, how many times more is this? Well, fourteen dollars is actually seven times more. See, two times seven is fourteen. So here I will do the same. Five times seven, I'll get thirty-five muffins. Okay, so 35 muffins. Now some of you got the correct answer, but you did it in uh, a less efficient way. So I will written out on your worksheet. I will need you to learn to do it this way. So for those who got it correct, and if you see a bracket, please do do the correction for this, this way. Next one, a factory produces 100 bottles of green tea each day. So 100 bottles. All the green tea add up to 150 liters. If I pour them out, they all add up to 150 liters. So how much green tea is in one bottle, each bottle? 
Now, how do I get to one bottle from 100? I divide by 100, I get one bottle. So, same thing here, I divide by 100. What does it mean by 150 divided by 100? It just means you move the decimal place. 1, 2. So you get your 1.5 liter. And that's the answer for question 6. Question 7 now. Find the value of 2424 divided by 8. I always advise my students, please draw lines if you are not very familiar don't be lazy now so if you look at this two right this is too small i can't do any division here so add a zero now i see 24 so 8 times 3 is 24 okay i subtract this i get zero i bring two down two too small so i put zero Okay, so I bring 4 down. Then 8 times 3 is 24. So answer is 303. Next one. List all the factors of 21. This means that 21 is equal to 1 times 21. 2 don't have. 3 times 7. And that's it. Now some of you, you actually got the working correct. However, you stop writing after 1, 3 and 7. 21 is also a factor of 21. So don't forget to write this 21. Next one, find the sum of the first three multiples of 5. So the first three multiples of 5 is 5, 10, 15. Sum means you add them up. Just add them up and you will have 30. So 30 is your answer for this. Express 35 divided by 6 as a mixed number. So working will look like this, 6 times 5, 30. Alright, so remember, we talked about this. Huh? This is your 5 hole. 6 is the denominator, 6 will remain here. This is the remainder, remainder goes up there. So 5 hole, 5, 6. Next one, let's go to this. Now for those who got the answer for this right, without working, you got to show me your working. You need to change the denominator to be the same. It's just that when we were, when we were comparing fractions earlier, we need to always change the denominator to the same. Whenever you compare fraction, change the denominator to be the same. Same thing here. To subtract, we need to change the denominator to be the same. So I can change this into uh, an 8. 4 times 2, 8. 3 times 2 give me 6. So 7 minus 6 is 1. Denominator, I keep it the same as 8. The answer for this is just 1, 8. Next one, let's go to question 10a. I'll write it below, okay, for 10a. 40.12 times 100. Now, don't move the decimal in the wrong direction. Huh? For this, we move it to the right-hand side. Now, the decimal is here. So, the answer is just 4,012 Okay, 4,012 Now, I always have people who will ask me Can I put decimal and zero? In this case, you can, but there's no need to You can because the question didn't say express your answer to one decimal place or whole number However, this has no meaning, so don't need to write this Next one, find the value of 48 divided by 5 This one will look a bit like this, but it's different huh? So you have 48 divided by 5, 5 times 9, 45, you get your 3, yeah? 8 minus 5, 3. Now don't forget to add a decimal, add a 0, 5 times 6 is 30, so answer here is 9.6. Last page now. The Chen has 80 pencils, he kept one fifth of his pencils and had some remaining. So, I'm going to tell you, box up this part. One fifth of his pencil. The teacher is very nice. I've given you the working. So, one fifth of, we change to times. How many pencils? He has 80. Right? By doing this, you get the, uh, the idea of the remaining. So, this means 80 divided by 5, which gives you 16. 
What does 16 here? It means 16 pencils remaining. Sorry, yeah. This means he kept. This is what he kept. I repeat, huh? So he kept 16 pencils. See, he kept one fifth of his pencil. One fifth of his pencil is 16. He kept this. So how many he has remaining? Well, at first he had 80. He kept 16. So he has 64 pencils remaining. Now, he gave half of his remaining. Again, let's box this up. Half of his remaining pencils to uh, ask me. So half, I copy half. Off, I change to times. Remaining is here. Remaining. So half times 64. Again, I'm very nice to you. I've given you the working. But I give you in words. Just need to change it to numbers. So half times 64 is 64 divided by 2. That gives you 32 pencils. So ask me got 32 pencils. Next one, let's change all this. Right to see these are actually all convert able to convert from one form to another. To convert a fraction to decimal, you must change the denominator to 100 first. To change 25 to 100, you times 4. Numerator times 4, so you get 12. So 12 divided by 100, decimal will be 0 0.12. 12 divided by 100, it will be 12%. Now this one, still a lot of you get mis uh, make mistakes for this. Huh? So a lot of you make the mistake of 4%, which is wrong. Okay, don't keep writing this. Let's change this to a fraction first. Only one decimal place, right? So this is 4, 10. Now, to change the decimal, you must change the denominator to 100. So you times 10, times 10, you will get 40 divided by 100. So this actually means 40%. 45% means 45 divided by 100. 45% also means 0 0.45. Next one. Fami used 2 7 of his pocket money at the bazaar. So 2 7 of his pocket money. See, box up this part. So 2 7 I copy. And what, how much money does he have? You see, he has $63. So 2 7 I copy this. Off, I, cop I change to time. Pocket money is your 63. Okay. Let's do this. You have your 126. 63 times 2 is 126 divided by 7. So my 1, 2, 6 divided by 7, 7 times 1, 7, 12 minus 7 is 5, bring the 6 times 56, 7 times 8, 56. So the answer is 18, don't forget, the, you need 18 dollars. Now let's go to the last question. Now Hazik used 55% of his money. What am I going to do here? Which part should I box up? This part. Hazik spent 55% of his pocket money. So 55% of pocket money is $40. So I changed my 55% into a fraction. 55 divided by 100 times 40. So when I multiply by this, remember I told you, huh? let's multiply the 4 and 55 first. 55 times 4, 5 times 4, 20. 5 and 4, 20 plus 2, 22. Alright, I have my 2, 2, 0. Is that correct? No, remember? There's a 0 here. This 0 means you use this times 10. So you get your 2, 2, 0, 0. So I add 1, I add this 0 over here. So you multiply 55 times 40, you get 2,200. Don't forget to divide by 100. Huh? Now it's simple. Let's move decimal places. So I move it from this to 1, 2. So now the answer is just $22. Okay, so those were my pupils in 2023. You're supposed to do the correction and hand it to me on Friday. And if you don't do this, well, you have to stay during a recess to watch the video during recess. The whole video, alright? So this is my way of helping you. Thank you very much. Take care and have a nice day.